Jewish bankers made it very clear that they saved Donald Trump from a billion dollars in personal debt. He knew he was in big trouble. I think he borrowed more than most other prudent real estate people. He had extended himself to the Trump shuttle, to a yacht, to a helicopter, and to a lot of things which weren't generating any cash flow, and he had to support his lifestyle. So he was in trouble. Does anybody else want to bid? $190,000 are going to sell it? When the economy and the real estate market plummeted in 1990, attorney Alan Pomerant says Trump owed $4 billion to his debtors, including that billion dollars for which he was personally responsible. Because he personally guaranteed so much debt, the leverage shifted dramatically over to the banks because it was no longer an issue of a bank and a piece of real estate, it was a bank and Donald Trump's actual survival. Trump owed money all over town to 72 banks in all. Pomerantz represented them as a group. How close was he to going personally bankrupt? Very. Trump makes a point of saying he never went personally bankrupt. But there's a reason why the banks decided to keep Trump whole. We made the decision that he would be worth more alive to us than dead, dead meaning in bankruptcy. We don't want him to be in bankruptcy. We want him out in the world selling these assets for us. So you wanted him alive because he was a salesman and could best sell his own properties. That's correct. We kept him alive to help us. I've known the president and I've known his family and his team for a long time. And there is no greater supporter of the Jewish people and the Jewish state than President Donald Trump. I think we should put that to rest. Thank you very much. Very nice. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Are you seriously saying that Donald Trump is betraying the same bankers who saved his ass and are now crossing them openly? While he has his Jewish son-in-law, Jared Kushner, buddy buddy with Netanyahu as Trump is. I mean, I, I don't get this. <laughs> I really don't get this. And what it really does, the other thing that it brings up is that many of you, including good friends who I really respect, many of you are still buying into the idea that these presidents and, and prime ministers and these congressmen and senators, that they make decisions. You really believe that? You really believe that Obama and Trump and Bush and Clinton and all of them, Reagan, all of them. You believe these people go into the Oval Office and formulate uh, policy? You, you honestly don't think that they are being directed uh, by advisors who surround them within uh, the White House and other forms of government? You don't, you don't, you don't know that? I don't understand. <laughs> They're all bought and paid for. Donald Trump is knowingly bought and paid for uh, by virtue of the billion dollars that he was bailed out by, uh, by the Jewish banksters. The idea that he's playing 3D chess by moving the embassy to Jerusalem, thereby causing more problems for Israel and, uh, and, and somehow proving that he's actually working against the powers that be. Wow. <laughs> You're getting creative there. And, 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 you know, I guess selling, uh, you know, 300 plus billion dollars worth of weapons to Saudi Arabia uh, which is the biggest financier of ISIS and Al-Qaeda before it, undeniably so. I guess that's like 3D chess as well. And then when American sons and daughters get their heads chopped off or go off to some bloody conflict in which ISIS, Israeli Secret Intelligence Services, uh, when we send our sons and daughters off to that shit, um, <laughs> I, I guess you're going to excuse Donald Trump then too.